thank you once again for joining us today at matoka tv studio all right today in this particular clip you're about to watch with me right now the god servant apostle arome osai unveils another deep secret on how you can encounter angels one in one all right i do where to pick the point as you listen to this clip may god almighty bless you amen before i close I want to tell us how to inquire from God. Inquire from God by the laws of spiritual intelligence. The first law of spiritual intelligence is this. God does not speak much. God only answers much. God does not what? Speak much. He only answers. I tell you this from wealth of experience. So it is only those that ask God questions that initiate the conversation that can get God to talk. If you want to wait for God to talk, you will wait for long. He answers much, but he doesn't speak much. So in your work with God, you will notice you'll be praying, you'll be praying, then he will just talk talk is answered and there are few times where you can be lying on the bed and he comes to you then he speaks so if you check the ratio of the time he speaks without an inquiry and the time he responds to inquiries you will see he doesn't speak much but he answers much so based on the first law of spiritual intelligence huh? make sure you are always asking you see those guys the bible never told us how long they asked who seen that this man was blown blind? Say it to him for 21 days. Not in tongues. Tell him in English. Who seen? What was it? What happened? Nobody can exceed 64 years. What is the problem? For 21 days, don't miss it. Ask. You'll just be sleeping one night. An angel will walk into your dream like a man and take you to an ancient apparatus. <laughs> God does not speak much. God only what? Exactly. Second law of spiritual intelligence. The airplane of God's activities is called the human heart. The human heart. The human heart is the theater of God's displays. Those of you that still remember the diagram I drew of her, the secret and the inward parts. The heart is the theater for God's display. So since we know that the heart is the theater for God's displays, and God is spirit. Are you with me? He's not man, he's spirit. And God is not on your head, God is in your heart. If God is spirit, the theater of his displays is your heart. Expect him to be manifesting where? On your heart. Listen, because he is spirit, he will not operate like a man, he will operate like a spirit. The language of spirits is one, knowings, two, signs. Three sights, sights. It can give you a quick, quick sight. You know, it's not your eyes that saw that. Quick sight. Let's start again with the list. Number one, knowings. It just you know something. You don't know how you know it, but you know you know it. It's spiritual. Second, it's a sign. When you lose your peace, has it ever happened to you? a sign is not an intelligent communication so when you lose your peace it's expected that you speak in tongues for 45 minutes so that you will not know what you are losing your peace about exactly and then when there is full fullness of joy you wake up with a song it's a sign of spiritual health it means something happened while you slept 
pray for in tongues for 45 minutes, you'll find out what happened. Because a man without knowledge, for a man to be without knowledge is not good. That's what the Bible says. So there's a reason why your spirit is rejoicing. That rejoicing is not because of your pocket. Because of something that happened in the spirit. And Jesus rejoiced in the spirit. It was not his making. It was the spirit of God in him that began to rejoice. And then Jesus said, Father, I thank you because you have not revealed these things to the wise. That was why the spirit was rejoicing. Jesus decoded it. Have you ever had a, a, a time you just had this strange peace? You cannot take that, that's non-cognitive communication. You need 45 minutes of tongues to know why. Remember, the theater is where? Many of you wait for spectacular things to see rainbow. Ooh, it might happen two times in your lifetime. You are waiting to see lightning. You will be old at 94. Because that's exceptional but i'm telling you what happens every day this is supernatural supernatural happens within the privacy of your heart but it's a testimony of the position of god about an issue and nothing can change it because the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall that thing that he has shown you is established no matter even though there's satan there's 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 a liquid If you have seen it in God, it's established. It will come to pass if you wait long enough. Have you seen your wedding? Have you seen it? You have seen it before. It means it's established. The thing now is for you to believe God until you see it manifest. When we saw the building that is going on today, and we even saw it to the paint, the color of the paint, we saw it. Those days when we say it, the people say we are mad, we are crazy. Not anymore. Hallelujah. When you pray, you see, you see your heart fix things. Not because you are prophetic. Eh? Not because you are a prophet, but because that's the God is spirit. And his theater is your heart. Every one of us, if you begin to enter into God, your sight will be activated. It's a privilege for all his saints. Don't come and dazzle us that you receive word of knowledge. That's what all of us do. And we do it for free. It's not a big thing in a in an in an accurate apostolic assembly is not something for championship everybody has a measure of those dimensions it's just that the prophets have it more because they are, they are calling is along the line of revelations but everybody can judge everybody can know if you are talking from god you know i i got you will if those of you in the spirit know that what i did before i started teaching was not anger was the spirit you can judge it. And if it's issue of anger. Mm. God has helped us. Alright? I don't even get angry on the ground. Talk more of poop it. You say you are getting angry. Lose your... Mm. Poop it. No. That spirit that disrupts the service must be judged. And the spirit inside judged it. You understand? The theater is where? Then we have, we have, yeah? Number one is what? Knowing. Two is what? A sign. You can lose your peace. The third one is what? A sight. It gives you a quick vision. And there are three kinds of visions. Open vision. You'll be sitting like this. And it's as if this flash of a camera comes on your face then you see something very faint but it's, it's sure then a trance something like sleep will come on you then you fall into sleep for two minutes and see something that's a trance in a trance the anointing on you blocks out your physical senses so that your spiritual senses can take a snap snapshot then you have a dream which is a night vision most of you know what dreams are these are the basic ways that the Lord walking in the theater of your heart will bring you disclosures to take you outside of the box and to show you his will. Remember, God does not speak much. God only was. And if you keep asking, he will answer you. 
asked for 21 days that's the example of daniel eh? say it for 21 days say it every day why is it that people are poor in my family for 21 days pray in tongues pray in tongues then you shut down you go and sleep that's the last prayer you pray before you sleep for 21 days on the 14th day he will walk into your your dream 17 day you can just be praying like this and you just begin to see pictures on the 15th day the young man that is coming to show you that he so love him you might just feel inside of your spirit and you know that this is not the man a knowing of revelation has popped up no believer should walk around blind You can escape mistakes that be devil people that tie people down. You can escape traps. You can escape injuries. If we build on the voice of the Lord, no devil be able to destroy it. When we charge young people, what do we say? Build on the voice of God. Uh, all right. Thank you uh, once again for joining us towards this particular creep by the god servant apostle arumi osai on the reasons um why some ministers um anointed ministers still be confused in life and he revealed a shocking secret and i hope this particular creep really blesses your life so much so if you do just click on that red button on the screen and subscribe and like the video and make sure you comment and share it all right thank you so much and stay tuned at matuka tv studio thank you and god bless you amen